and time now for this week's On the Course with Bob Kraus. It's still golf season, even though it's a little chilly this morning. Yeah, and as we go to break, he and Brandon are talking about a problem just about every golfer has faced. On the Course with Kraus, local for teaching professional Bob Kraus and I here at the beautiful Detroit Golf Club. And Bob, I hit a good tee shot, but I walk up to my ball and there it is, stuck in a divot. What do I do? Very disappointing, you hit a good drive, you're in a divot. So the rule of thumb is make another divot. Bigger divot. Bigger divot. Okay. But there's a couple things you need to focus on, and let's just go through those real quick. We have 105 yards here, that's usually your gap wedge. Right. We want to up the club, so okay. we want to take a pitching wedge. Got that. Because the ball's going to come out a little lower, and it's not going to fly as far. All right. The, another thing you have to focus on is move the ball back. So instead of the ball being in the center of the, sh of the, of the stance, you want to move it back just slightly towards the right foot. Okay. Then you want to put a little weight on the left foot because you want a, a little steeper angle coming into the shot. Then finally you want to put a little bit more emphasis on uh, abbreviating the finish. You don't want this big full finish because people tend to lend sway off the ball and skull it. Okay. So let's go through that little checklist. All right, I've got my pitching wedge and I am going to put the ball in the back of my stance, my right foot. I'm leaning left a little bit here. You want to feel like the weight stays on the left side. This okay. And it's going to come out lower, but I'm going to be a little steeper in and make a bigger divot, hopefully. Now that's ideal. Wow. Go in the hole. Oh my lord. That's right up on it, Bob. And look, <laughs> look at the size of that <laughs> divot. Woo! The only one that's not happy is the greenskeeper. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to do my part and fill that in with sand and seed, whatever they give you, instead of leaving a divot for the next guy. So great tips from Bob on how to hit out of a divot. And you can get more of Bob's tips on his page. It's on the sports tab. Click on Detroit.com. Stay right there. Your chance to win a round of golf for two at a country club for free right after the break.